Hey everybody, I hope this edition of Parsha Ponderables finds you well. I'm Rabbi Daniel Friedman from the Jewish Center. I'm right here on the seventh floor, just between the sixth and the eighth floors. It's a great floor, one of my favorite in the entire building of the Jewish Center. It's often quiet, you should come and experience it for yourselves. In this week's Parsha, there's uh, a little bit of a, of a tantalizing uh, suggestion that uh, runs contrary to everything uh, I learned in elementary school. In elementary school, I was told that there was only one plague of Choshech. It happened just before the plague of Makat Bechorot. Darkness came before, striking down the firstborn. But the truth of the matter is, is that a careful examination of the Makot in this week's Parshat Bo reveals the fact that there was actually an incident of Choshech before the official ninth plague of Choshech. Don't take it from me. Take it from the Pesukim. Torah says, Vayachas et ein kol ha'aretz, the locusts covered the entire land of Egypt, vatech shach ha'aretz. The land literally became dark with Choshech. I think it's a very interesting thing to think about, that in truth, the actual plague, the Maka of Choshech, was foreshadowed by something that just happened before it, during the plague of Arpa. What is the meaning of this pre-Choshech, this proto-Choshech, the Choshech that was before the real Choshech? What message did Hashem have for both the Jewish people and the Mitzrim in creating a Choshech before the actual Choshech? If you come up with any answers to this question, I'll be here at the Jewish Center eagerly awaiting, either on the seventh floor or somewhere else in the building. Have a good Shabbos.